is going on you guys welcome back to the channel back with another video on the beautiful m1000 rr the final touches are being put on this bike we got more titanium bolts every time i go to put on some more titanium bolts i literally go back home or while like we're putting on the titanium bolts i'm like huh but should i get these i like try to start finding new bolts and i'm like oh my god like these bikes have so many bolts i know like that sounds you know stupid to say but like you never really think about it until you start replacing stuff and i'm like okay well now that i did this might as well do this and they're all kind of like close and connected but hold on let's take a second and appreciate this beautiful sunset sunset is amazing the weather not so much it's freezing right now it's like in the 50s 50s i don't like that i mean again i always say i'm still glad that i'm able to ride uh, during this time but it's way too cold it's almost like not enjoyable i might have to start taking out my leather jackets believe it or not i have gear boys hey ladies look at that Woo. oh i forgot that i have heated drips hey I consolidated the titanium bolts in a little box and put them in my pocket because I didn't want to carry it back because I already put on most of the bolts that I ordered. I ordered like the ABS bolts, I ordered the lever bolts, like literally these ones right here and the one the shock absorber, like a lot, a lot of details. It might be overkill and it might be stupid for spending that much money on bolts because honestly, I don't like weight saving wise, I think I maybe have saved like three pounds with all the bolts that I got. And uh, so far I have about $2,000 in just bolts on this bike, which is, it's stupid. It's, a, it's, an, it's an addiction that I have. I think carbon fiber is more justifiable. You know, carbon fiber is big panels, really change the look of the bike. This definitely does too, you know, this little details and accents that make some bikes really pop. So yeah, to me it's worth it, but it's not the type of thing that I'm gonna do for like all of my bikes. Uh, I only decided to do it for this one because you know the bike is already like done. I wanted to do the engine bolt, and I ended up buying like uh, I don't know if I bought the wrong things or I was missing some things, so I had to buy more. And when I bought more, I was like might as well get these, and then that's how it started. I started getting more and more, and now that. Pretty much every single bolt that I could get in titanium is titanium. Uh, some of the bolts, like you guys can't even see, like the lower triple clamp. Not this top one, the one in the bottom in there, there's bolts in there and those are titanium too. So like, yeah, a lot of bolts were titanium. Sadly, the triple clamp, the upper one, those I couldn't get in titanium because they're very specific. Like, it's not just a regular bolt. It's kind of like a, I don't, I don't even know what you call it. It's like a cylinder up here and then it, there's threading in the bottom. Thank you very much. So yeah, I don't know. It's very weird. Uh, then I'll make them for this bike. Uh, there's a few things I want to get like this bolt right here that for whatever reason it's I think it's the same thing. It's like always this little like weird bolts that they don't make. But I did realize that they make universal nuts because I got universal bolts even for my windscreen. The windscreen right here, this wasn't titanium bolts. This was, because uh, you know, it's aftermarket. It was just regular silver bolts and it didn't go well with the blue bolts right here. So I ended up getting universal bolts and making them fit. But then I didn't realize that they make nuts too. So I might get the nuts and do the uh, ones right here. So it's all blue and magic problem is I have to take apart the windscreen and all that, which I'm kind of a little bit lazy about. Uh, I'll try to find some more titanium bolts to buy, and then I will add that into it, if there's anything else I can buy. 
uh, today we're going to get the engine slash mainframe bolts in titanium I didn't get all of them I only got like one main one on this side there's like three on each side those bolts are really expensive and honestly you can't like see them at all and it didn't really care too much about them which is there's one bolt that's like what caught my attention on the right side right by the fins where it's it was silver and I have like the other subframe bolts that are blue so I can blow these heated grips get crazy hot like it's burning my glove I have to turn it down why is there so much traffic yeah I need to start riding a bit earlier the sun is setting early it's also like really really cold at night at least during the day it's in the 60s but yeah I got carried away talking about all the titanium stuff this guy looks so crazy I also really miss riding the Honda I only rode it once ever since I put on the SC Projects exhaust on it and I'm very excited to ride it again just haven't had the chance because of these bikes you know I'm getting some like work done on them or something I think I did the front and rear ABS sensors, all of them. Uh, I already did the lever guards that I told you guys. I already did uh, those other ones that I did. I don't know. It's hard to keep track. Like, there's so many. You guys have no idea. I have like six big boxes of full on like titanium bolts. But yeah, we're putting on the engine mount on one of the sides and we're putting on uh, the front axle clamp. You know, like the forks all the way in the bottom where they kind of like hold on to the wheel. There's like four big ones that I think will make it look very nice. I'm gonna be doing these as well. Yeah, these, this. This is the bolt that I was talking about because I have the engine bolts, all of these, the suffering bolts, heel guards, and pretty much all the bolts here besides this guy which is kind of like because the bike is when it's on the stand it's very visible okay we fixed this last time there was a bolt missing now it's good so yeah this bolt right here these are the other ones see how like far deep it is that's why I was like it's not worth it each one of these bolts is like 30 bucks I think or something like that and I'm doing it mainly for the visuals not the weight savings so I don't really care too much uh, but yeah, these are the ones I'm talking about. These are gonna be swapped to blue on both sides. Uh, yeah, these are, uh, you guys can, probably can't see. Let me turn on the flash for you. Even my license plate bolts are, you know, that's when I found out they make nuts as well. So, the TM nut and bolt. I don't like that the bolt is too long, but whatever. That. And those right here, the ABS sensor already got these like a while ago i was gonna do these but we did them on the front they're also really expensive did them on the front you can barely even see them so that's why i was like eh the silver kind of stands out a little bit more see they just blend in with the blue so yeah that's what we're doing right now the bike is full of carbon and titanium all right guys new parts are on let me show you these look really good over here because the contrast with the silver looks pretty good. I like it. It'll be so much nicer to show you guys in the sun, but what can I do? So it says very early. But one of these rides, I'll show you guys. I'll do like a bike walk around or whatever. Uh, what else did we do? I realized that uh, when I did the exhaust system, we cut my servo motor, and the servo motor was right here. So we took the servo motor out and we found this <laughs> random little bolt that we replaced with titanium too, because why not? I had an extra titanium bolt. Oh, one thing I forgot that we did is actually this right here. So you see this little bolt, this one down here, and this right here as well, if you guys can see. 
Yeah, I bought these two. I knew I was forgetting something. I just didn't know what. On this side, what did we do? I feel like I did. We did something. Yeah, we did this guy right here. Also another like extra bolt that I had for the front ABS sensor. I don't know why they sent me two. We already put one right here, and there was no other one. So I didn't know where to put it. So <laughs> we found out that it fits perfectly right here. See, when it's blue and blue, you can't really see it much. And, uh, oh, how did I forget the main thing? I wanted to do, actually, this bolt right here and this. I actually can buy them universal, and we measured them out. So I can do these two as well, but they're so expensive. Like, this bolt alone is $30 for one. And I'm like, do I want to keep adding stuff every time? I'm like, there's more and more and more, and it keeps going. It's already over $2,000 in bolts, which is ridiculous. So I don't know if we'll do those, but yeah, this one was also pretty expensive, but as you guys can see, it's main engine frame bolt, so obviously that is going to be expensive. But yeah, this one looks really good because now they all flow, and the ones that you can't see are like hidden in there, so they don't really matter. But this one would be cool too, we measured this one out, so I might be buying this, the one on the other side with the long one too. Uh, these are honestly my top priority because I think they will look cool because it's blue silver and then blue bolt that would look really cool and uh, what else oh, I did find out that I can actually get those nuts but guess what these silver nuts right here they're $13 each and I have I need five of them so I'm also like uh, do I really need that <sighs> but I never need them it's always a want I have a problem an addiction All right, let's start this bike and get going Oh boy. Every time I'm like, yep, this is this is it. This is a lot of stuff. And more stuff comes up. And they keep adding more and more bolts to it. Look at this red carbon R1 though. Pretty cool with the red bolts. This bike is almost complete. This is currently my second most expensive bike. The first one is still the Ducati. Second one is this one. Uh, do you guys want me to do like a little part breakdown? I think I already got these comments. I have I have that idea. I have like a lot of ideas, so I just write them down. And I do have this idea written out to kind of like give you guys a breakdown and the total amount of each of my bikes. I probably wouldn't like be mentioning like every single piece and how much it costs but I'll be like mentioning the parts and just kind of like the total amount so it's less complicated see this is the weather that I would like to, to ride the Ducati in because that bike runs really hot down it feels nice because I don't get hit with the wind either so it's very nice but honestly I do not have faith in this windscreen I feel like one bad rock chip or even like a big bug could break it it's like a different material that's very hard it's almost like glass it's not glass obviously but you know it's pretty stiff so I feel like it would just crack the other windscreen that I had was like pretty bendy but sadly like this is the only one that comes with the carbon fiber that I like there's an, another company that makes some ink carbon, but it doesn't have the little fin right here. And the bubble is smaller, which doesn't show as much of the carbon that I have inside right here. Which is why I went with this one instead. Oh, it's so cold. 
what I like about this bike is that it is like very I, I could compare actually to the Ducati like it's very fun to ride because it's exactly the opposite of the Ducati I always say the Ducati is like my favorite to ride my all-time favorite bike is the H2 let's get that straight but my favorite to ride is the Ducati because that bike is super super powerful but also like very light and I don't know the way it makes you feel super cool like it's just like a very raw bike so I really enjoy it as for the M1000 it's kind of similar to the V4R but on the opposite spectrum you know it still feels like special because it's so butter smooth and just does everything so right so like you know I'm still like really into it it's still like it's fun because like you know it's a cool unique bike that is also really really fast that is also easy to ride and smooth you know it just like does it all in my opinion so far the maintenance on the BMW is also not as bad as the Ducati it's just hard to find that bike that needs more maintenance especially uh, from a V4R because that bike is just like the clutch needs maintenance like 24-7 for this video it was supposed to be like you know the last few touch-ups on this bike but of course I came up with more things I would like to buy and get for this bike obviously it's not done until I get a new tank too because you know this tank is slightly scuffed up but with my OCD especially with you know a high-end bike like this I want it to be perfect so I do have a carbon tank cover for it I'm just not sure if I want to put it on or not uh, very indecisive about that but we'll find out. Uh, I don't think I'll put the carbon tank cover. I might just replace the OEM tank itself uh, and just get another one just exactly like it. Just clean. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the M1000. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Ride safe, guys.